I picked this spot because I was on my own and needed a trail that was a little easier so I would have a better chance of staying out of trouble. Plus it's a fun forest run close to Port Collins. Rambling boy, you burn around Dallas to the underground High up, up and down below Places how I was scared to go You sang it loud in case they heard Hanging on to every word Gentle as a lullaby I started in Pingree Park, which features a lot of good campsites. For the most part, you'd be okay at Pingree with a two-wheel drive vehicle, but some of the best spots might require a four-wheel drive. I wouldn't recommend taking anything lower than some type of SUV or truck very far into Pingree, because you'll need a little ground clearance for some of the roads. You weren't asking much at all Just catch you when you on your own the long way home. After taking a few pictures around some of my favorite campsites, I headed back to the main road and traveled south to Monument Gulch Road, which puts you at the starting gate to Old Flowers Road. What's that sadness in your smile? You've been crying. Could you lean upon my shoulder? I guess you died just get old. At the western end of the trail, you so can catch some nice high mountain views. And as you travel east, the trail becomes much darker due to the thick surrounding forest. I caught myself wondering where, how much, and what kind of wildlife might be watching me as I sat and retrieved my camera. Towards the end of the trail, I came upon some muddy spots that may cause an issue, especially early in the year. Finally, I reached an old log cabin that told me that the end of the trail was near. Old Flower Road ends up at Stowe Prairie Ranch. Just catch you when 